Oh yeah. yeah! Hello folks and welcome to this new video, my name is Andre and today we're going to see a few tips and tricks for Godot and Gene. Probably these are going to help you if you are a beginner because I needed something like this to know before I started or when I started and I wish that there was a simple video, a fast video just to show me these simple tips and tricks. Okay guys, now like you can see here I have just two nodes and each node has some childs inside. Now something that probably happens to you as well and it's a little bit annoying, at least for me it's <laughs> great annoying, uh, is that when you try to move a parent a node, like you want to move the node to D, you actually move the child only and that's it's really annoying. Now to fix that you just go select the node to D and you just go to this little button here and you make sure to click it and it's going to make sure that every child is going to move with the parent and you're not going to move only the child alone and that fixes this now let's make the example that you actually worked on the editor in, with this node and it's ready to to be instantiated and it's not a single node it's not a single scene you actually don't want to start a new scene and remake everything from the beginning you just can save it from the tree like a scene so just click here with the right mouse and go save branch as a scene so again just go to the node you want to save right click and save branch as a scene and that is going to create a scene for you and you're going to find it here in the file system we have this thing and you can make instances by script now another thing that you might want to do is that you want to make it again single local so basically just right click and go make local and this is going to uh, make it again workable on the editor you already might know this but by clicking this uh, button here you can open in the editor and change the the scene but actually you can do that in the three here as well so just click with the right mouse and make it editable children and this is going to to allow you to, to modify it in the editor without leaving the main scene here. So these were a few tips and tricks that might help you on your workflow. And now let's see a few shortcuts inside the script editor. Now like you can see these are all comments and if you want to bring them back uncomment these lines. So to uncomment something just select write the comments and control K and they're going to be something in the in the editor ready to use click ctrl k and they're going to work now another trick is to replace things i just want to replace this a name this variable name with another name i want to replace it for example for with uh, c so just click just press ctrl r for replace and you can replace it with c for example and just replace all it's going to replace everything or you can go manually replacing everything so basically you can click replace replace and that's fine or you can replace all but that's not working because every single a is going to be replaced so basically what you can do is war, uh, wall words so it basically is going to find exactly that a to be replaced if if there's something else it's not going to replace it and you can click replace all and it's going to replace everything and probably you don't want to replace everything before for example and you probably you want to replace only uh, the selected one and just make sure to click this one and you can click replace all and it's going to replace what was selected like you can see here this is a double indentation to make sure that that uh, things happen inside the if condition now if you want to put this inside the if condition you just can select everything and press tab on your uh, keyboard and it's going to indentate it inside the if condition another thing that you probably don't know is that you can press ctrl uh, shift to kind of undo the steps so basically you go back this way or tab 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 and tab shift it's going to go back so basically if you want to undo things you can undo things by the classic ctrl z and you're going to undo things but if you want to redo that you just click ctrl shift and z and it's going to redo that 
Last but not least, I'm going to show you another single thing because this might be important and, and helpful. You probably are going to use, I don't know, you're going to, to use print, print. And now, like you can see here, you have this little tab you can select from this little tab, scroll it down with your arrow keys and find what you want to, to put it. This is the auto completion thing of the editor. But if you actually click and you kind of lost that auto completion and you want to re rewrite everything again, print. Actually, you don't need to rewrite everything. You, you can make reappear that menu just by clicking, uh, just by pressing control space and it's going to give you again that menu and you can use print and here you can write your blah 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 okay guys this was all hopefully this is going to help you and give you a little boost on your workflow now this helped me a lot because i found these shortcuts and these things just by looking on the documentation or tutorials and i'm sharing them with you hopefully this will help and so if you like the video just make sure to leave a like subscribe and more important keep making games ah and obviously if you have other shortcuts or tips and tricks that you may suggest to people uh, to help just make sure to comment down below and i'll make sure to pin them so everyone can can get them and watch so thank you guys again <laughs>